Hey crafters, I'm back today with another drill with me and I wanted to start with a full view of the canvas. It was actually crafting with Christy, I believe, who left a comment saying, let's see the entire piece. And this is what it looks like. We started with Snow White and then we moved on to Ariel. And right now I'm working on Jasmine. Wow, that light glare is not helpful. But I do have the bottom part of Jasmine complete. When I move it and get ready to drill, I will give you a better view of that. The princesses that will complete after the move will be Sleeping Beauty, Belle, and Cinderella. So let's go ahead and show you some more detail of what I've done with Jasmine. And here's a better view of the work that's been done on Jasmine since the last drill with me. I've got a lot of this pink and purple background done and I went ahead and did the stars at the bottom and one of the lotus flowers. I've done only a little bit of the 310 up here, the border, and I haven't finished this section of 310s yet. That's all I haven't done. I just really need a 310 break. So let's go ahead and start drilling. We're gonna go ahead and get started on Jasmine's Palace in the background here. It's gonna have a little bit of yellow transitioning into the orange and then going down into the red. Jasmine has a lot of orange, yellow, and red in her, in her canvas. It's been really pretty to see the transition between the colors and anything that is not 310, I am in love with right now because when you do all the outline at once, the black drills just, you're just tired of seeing the same thing over and over. So I'm gonna start with K up top. There's really only a few Ks, but that's gonna be DMC 742. And let me make sure I wanna take note of that. Let's check out the light right now looks really good. What you see on the camera is what I see on my tray. So I have quite a bit to talk about. You know how I like to get. I'm gonna be less scattered than usual, I hope. No promises. But let's see, um, announcements. I've said before that when I ship this canvas off, when we pack out and I go back to the United States for about three months, I am gonna do a night night sky canvas and I'll let you guys know in case anyone wants to buy that canvas and start working on it with me at the same time. I'm thinking I'll get to that one the week of April 16th because I leave Tunis and get back to the United States on the 15th and I'm gonna be so jet lagged that there is no way I'm gonna start any diamond painting until the following day. So April 16th, if you're interested, I will have a link down below. And that was all for K. There's not much. Kind of the same with L, but I like these colors, so I wanna get to them. L is just one DMC off for 743. Get rid of that. Put it in the tray. Here we go. Looks really good. What you see on camera is what I see in my tray. So I've been really, really busy. I've seen that I had some comments come in in the other drill with me for Jasmine. Oh, let me not have the tray right on my working area. And I'm gonna work today on responding to them. I can't remember all of the questions, but I do know I had one question about, can we see the whole canvas? Let's look at the progress. I think that was from Crafting with Christy, but the way I'm so scattered these days, I could easily be wrong. I had another person ask me how many hours this has taken so far. And that's a great question, but unfortunately, I haven't been keeping track. I mean, I know with my drill with me's, I could figure out how long those are if I just add all the time up. But the outline, the outline is what takes the most time and that's when I stop and start on this canvas. You know, doing like 20 minutes here, maybe an hour in the evening there, and I didn't keep track. So I really have, unfortunately, no idea. I, I wanna say 
I've probably put more than 20 hours into this, but beyond that, I don't know. Um, that is a really good question though. And I think for the next group of princesses, the next three, that I wanna keep track. And then I'll just take that number, multiply it by two, and when I'm finished, I can give you guys a better idea of how long this canvas took me. That was all of those, and we're gonna go ahead and start on J, which is kind of scattered through the entire palace. J is 741, which is actually, it's a darker DMC than the others. This is that pumpkin color that I've told you I like. It's a very bright pumpkin orange. You've seen this before, I've talked about it before. Um, it's also one of the border colors, the colorful design that separates all the princess is J. This J isn't part of it. As for other questions, I'm gonna work on getting to those. It's just been a little crazy around here. We, um, we spent the weekend out of town. We went to Seuss, Tunisia, and it was absolutely beautiful. Got to stay in a place near the beach, got a view of the beach from our hotel room. I'll cut in a picture right here. So if you're drilling, look up, check it out. It was just a really enjoyable, peaceful family vacation. And we think this is probably gonna be, or that was our last time outside of Tunis before we leave which is now at 14 days, 14 days. April 15th is when I, when me and the kids are going back. And that's actually, uh, if you remember, I'm on that 2.20 a.m. flight. So it's actually like April 14th that I'm going to the airport and wrapping up. Oh, chat break. Oh no. Drill spill. Actually, I did that earlier today with a whole like hundreds of 310s. I was so angry at myself. That was just one orange drill fell on the canvas. Um, I needed some wax, so I just put some wax in my pen. That did remind me of another question that I had. I had a question. I can't remember the commenter's name, but I saw it pop up in my email of um, what I thought about diamond dots or if I've ever done diamond dots before. And I've done that one with my kids recently. I bought it in Ireland and we did the little um, four leaf clover and I really liked it. The drills were beautiful and vibrant. That was actually the first partial I'd ever done as I worked on with them. And the best thing about diamond dots, I'm gonna show you right now if you're drilling look up, they have the translucent pink wax. This is the one that I did a video about. I feel like this is the good one Earlier when I was working on like Snow White and Ariel, I kept getting really frustrated because I had to keep replacing my wax. Let me get one of the ones that I know is a bad wax. Uh, it's like they're everywhere until I actually want them. Here we go. I ordered a little extras kit when I first started diamond painting. This is the pink wax that they came with. This is the pink wax that I think is really good. The translucent one, it's more sticky and this is better. So diamond dots. I've done one and I think they have a great wax. That's another question that I remember came in. And again, I'm gonna go and work through today and try and get through all of the comments. But since I'm now not working anymore, I haven't been on my computer nearly as much as I was. You know, I'm going a day and a half between checking my emails and it's been really nice, especially as things are really, really ramping up um, for the move. And I think I told you in a, the last video, our, our movers won't be here until the end of April. So I will be leaving the house. I have half of it packed up. My husband will work on the rest and then the movers will actually be coming in once I'm gone. It's a little, I wish I could be here for it, but I, you know, I can't change anyone's availability. I'm going to go ahead now and work on this dark circle. This is DMC 970. Go ahead. And this is, there you go. This is much more of an orange, orange, orange. This is kind of what I imagine a crayon orange is. Get it good on my tray. 
There you go. I've got good light. It's actually overcast right now in Tunisia, which is not our average weather. And the bit of overcast is really making for some great light um, coming in. So you're getting a good view uh, as to what the drills actually look like. Um, so about our trip, we went to Seuss and it was beautiful. Then we did a day trip down to Monastir, which is a little bit further down the coast of Tunisia. And after being here for three years, it was the first time I'd ever gotten to Monastir. And I'm really glad I went. It is another kind of beach community in Tunisia. And it was really quiet, really sleepy. So it was relaxing. Everywhere you went was really low key. Uh, you know, we went and we visited the Monastir Rabat and this, you know, beautiful fort built in 700 something. I don't remember the exact date, but I know it was the 700s. And then just, it was such a really sweet day because right out front, they have this little park that like vendors had come and they're selling little um, balloons and popcorns and there was an ice cream truck and we all got ice cream so we just sat there having an ice cream cone just one of those really sweet moments with your kids and they were so excited to have an ice cream cone and it was just like one of those days that you're like everything here is perfect it's beautiful weather you're sitting by the beach the kids are smiling and giggling and I was just really happy. Like I couldn't have planned it any better than how our day went. After that, we went to the um, Habib Bourguiba Museum. And you're probably like, what did you just say? Or who is that? Um, I didn't know either until I got here. Habib Bourguiba was Tunisia's first president. So there, George Washington. We checked out the museum. And here's where things definitely differ. Oh, I've got some more circles down here from the United States you go into a museum in the United States they have kind of those guard uh, like fuzzy little guard railings that you keep on one side we went into this museum and there were a few other people there but it, you get to the part where it's his actual private study and he's got or they have it set up showing the collection of items that he had and things that he had received from world leaders and Habib Bourguiba met with JFK. So our tour guide was like, oh, come come into the office and, and look at these things, look at these pictures. And he has, has this book from America, why don't you come and look at it? And then he takes down the little felt divider and just walks in. He's like, no, it's okay, come on, come on, you're American, this is important, you should see it, this is your history. We were just like, wow, you know, that would never happen anywhere, anywhere else, but this man was, really sweet and he thought it was important for the kids to see so of course we're like don't touch anything but the kids got to see we got to explain a little bit about history they were in a good mood from all the ice cream they were actually listening to us asking questions so when i say it was just a nice day it was really really beautiful yeah, top to bottom everything the next one is going to be 921 and this is kind of a little bit of a, I'd say a rust color with some orange hint. And what you see on the camera is what I see on the tray. It's gonna be this diamond shape that I'm gonna fill in. Afterwards, we got some drinks at a little port front cafe. And they do fresh juice here and it's absolutely delicious. So we had fresh strawberry juice. I had a tea and we ordered a pizza and we just got to stay there and listen to the water crashing um, in the port. And it was right next to a field full of yellow flowers and the kids played in the field. There was a swing set, mom and dad, just we sat there and had our juice and it was a very nice trip. So we had a great weekend, but I'm forgetting to mention the best part about the weekend the Diamond Paint-a-thon. I don't know how many of you got a chance to pop on and see it. I got to see a little bit of um, some and a lot of others, but it was really exciting to just sit and chat with 
diamond painters or just pop in and be like, hey, I'm kind of lurking, I'm working while you talk. That was fun. It's really nice when you see the whole community and how positive everyone is being and we all just kind of talk about our lives. And I've mentioned before that I don't have a craft group here in Tunisia. So being on the lives and chatting with everybody, that's my craft group. We're all friends and it was really nice to have the chance throughout the weekend to pop on and talk to people. Now I knew that with the time difference, I wasn't gonna be able to do this one because we had planned to be out of town. I didn't know what time I was going to be back and then I didn't know about my setup. Now I saw that there were some earlier in the day on Sunday spots and I'm like, well maybe I could take those and it would be later in the day Tunisian time but I'm like, that might be right when we're coming home. And I wouldn't want to either, you know, have something happen, not make it, miss it. We hit a lot of traffic coming home because of the Arab League, which I told you is in town and has officially started. So roads were shut down. We're talking hours of delays. So I just don't want to risk anything and not have been able to be here but I see there's another one in May, and who knows? Um, I think it's the first week of May, and in that case, I should still be in Northern Virginia, not traveling yet, so I won't have to worry. I might look into doing that one. Um, the, the last, uh, the last one that I put up, or I'm starting to forget the title of the videos, where I was working on Jasmine, I actually had to edit out part of that video. So I did edit it because I feel like at the time I said something really stupid. So at the time when I did the video, I had about 10 seconds where I made a comment of, we're going out of town this week and oh goodness, our garage door is closed. So I just feel like the whole weekend, our garage door is just gonna be wide open and anybody's just gonna walk into our front yard and hang out. And I was like, oh, that was kinda, that was silly to put. Why'd you say that? <laughs> so I ended up editing like 10 seconds out. So if you watch it, if you watch really close, there's a point where I have like four drills and then all of a sudden there's eight drills but that's one of the reasons why I'm not that great at also doing a live because I just start rambling and rambling and then it's like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. It's not like people know your exact ad address or anything like that, but it's just, you should never say anything like, oh yeah, my garage door is broken, which by the way, I'm happy to report it is the beginning of the week and everything is fixed now, but our garage door has been a pain in the butt. I know for a fact some of my earlier videos too i would be like oh i have to cut this short because someone's coming over to look at the garage it's like we just keep doing these short fixes and it really needs a massive overhaul so we'll see what the landlord wants to do this time but yeah mm. next is going to be this x the x is going to be dmc 919 and let me show it to you in the tray. This one has a, a brownish orange tint and for some reason two green drills in it. Hmm. It's definitely a brownish red. I don't know, you can tell me what you think that color would be best called. But it's a good one. I've had quite a few, there's quite a few X's for for the Jasmine's drills because we're doing the palace right now and there's also kind of the background cityscape right above her magic lamp and that there's a lot of these same colors in there. And I was trying to think of the different parts of the canvas to really highlight for the drill with me is um, she's just got so much of the same background color that I think after this, I might just do her name banner, which says Jasmine, which I've actually, I don't think I've ever done, or maybe I have. I don't wanna 
say I've never done it. I'm not sure if I have or not done a drill with me of the name banner. And then I'll probably just do actual Jasmine. And like, I love this blue color of her hair. It's gonna be a lot of light and blues all kind of blended together to make black with the outline. So maybe I'll do a dia, uh, drill with me of all of her hair and then one of her body and the last one of her face. Well, with Jasmine, I'm just going with the flow. I don't really have anything planned out of what all those drill with me's are gonna be. But as I get more and more busy, I'll have more and more to talk about. I mean, I have a list right here of like, oh, that would be really good. I wanna make sure to mention this. And it's just getting longer and longer and I end up talking about completely random stuff. But one thing, we had a huge craft fair here in Tunisia. People come from all over the country, artists from all over the country and sell their items. I made a video, but inside this craft expo center, it is um, it's massive, massive room. So when I watched all the videos back, I sound, I sound really quiet. I sound like this, like, crafters it's Meredith I'm just here today just really really like I'm whispering and the background noise of everyone else talking and then like people walking by sales being made the sound of items clinking it's like and then you have me whispering and I wanted to show you my favorite crafters all of the it's um it's really cool stuff to see but the audio is not that great and I've never done um never really done anything with the audio. I try to make sure if it needs to be like louder or quiet, I know how to do that, but I don't know how to do any voiceover stuff. So I wanna do a video about that because it's really cool. The other thing though, I ended up making this video and I did about five minutes in the craft convention center of different like five, five second shot here, five second shot there, check this out. And then I finished the video by showing all the cool stuff we bought and talking about the different artists who made it. And that's 25 minutes. And it's like, well, five minutes of just the craft haul, 25 minutes of me talking. But I wanna try and get that together because I think it's really cool that you guys would get to see all the beautiful handmade stuff and different artists here. I mean, we bought a painting. We bought handmade wooden kid toys. We've bought, we bought, um, I bought crafting stuff, which is not easy to always find here in Tunis, but that big convention, you know, they have it. We And we bought pottery and we bought olive wood items. So I'm gonna try and get that up. Um, our custom mosaic table. I've mentioned this to you a couple, a couple um, drill with me's back and it's here and it's awesome. And I did a video for that. I want you guys to see it because it's made in the same style as the ancient Roman mosaics. And we told ourselves if we're going to walk away with like one piece, one souvenir piece that we keep in our family forever, like we would love it to be one of those mosaics. And it actually happened after a lot of planning. I talk about the artists and how they make the mosaics here. So I got a video for that that I need to put up, but I'll see if I get to it. Um, one other thing though, I think it ended this morning, the AliExpress sale. What'd you buy? Did you get anything? You have to tell me because I love seeing what other diamond painters are working on. And I actually bought something. My very first sale from AliExpress, I felt like an idiot because I had no idea how to use coupons and I'm putting water on my tree, trying to get more coins. And I just feel like I'm such an AliExpress newbie. I'm sure I messed something up. And then it's like, okay, I gotta start watching a YouTube video to figure this out. But I don't know, I got like $5 or um, $8 and $5 of coupons. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did it right, but I did my first order. I sent it to the United States and it says it's gonna arrive April 25th. So I'm not sure if I mean, that seems really fast, right? That's a little over three weeks. I thought it took four weeks or, or longer. I know I was expecting it to take six weeks to get to me in Tunis, which is why I never 
ordered anything while here. But if you want the good selection of diamond paintings, you gotta order it from AliExpress. Although, when I first got into this craft, fall of last year, and I looked up diamond paintings on Amazon, I had one page of options. That was it. And now, you look it up and it's page after page, seller after seller. So Amazon is starting to get some cute stuff too. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these little white squiggly lines. Kind of reminds me of little bacons. And this is actually DMC 5200. This is actually the just pure white DMC. I keep it in a piece of Tupperware. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out. I don't need very much, but of course I over pour. So that's what I mean. It's this the pure pure just white drills. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in. Those are scattered throughout, kind of like a little light twinkle on the palace. Looks great. Um, oh, I had another comment about somebody who found a good seller on AliExpress for this. So there's that too. Like as I'm talking about the comments, they're kind of start popping back in my head of, okay, I saw this, this, this. Um, but I need to get on it and respond to all those. And, oh, a few more. Okay, good. I'm still on screen. I feel like sometimes I don't realize when I go down. Oh, that's her hair. Now we're not working on her hair. Just work on the palace. Here we go. It looks so good. Ooh, that's her background palace. Totally done. And this is actually, I don't want it to be that short of a drill of me. Let's see. I told you I keep the camera on like this little piece of plastic so I can quickly move it. So let me show you. This is what I was talking about, how a lot of her background is the same. This is also going to be the cityscape, which has like N, K, J, the circle, and the triangle and the X that we just did. So a large chunk of that is the same colors. The lotus flower that she's kind of surrounded by, the same color. So the background is this really pretty purple pink. But I tried to think about, well, if I do the background, it's going to be moving my camera so much. And then that might be not the best to watch. So since we have a few extra minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and let's just do the moon. We'll start off with that same 5200 DMC, one line of white. This is small, so this won't take very long. Just kind of add this on to our drill with me. Some of these colors actually are gonna be the same that we've already worked on today, so you've already seen it in the tray. Oh. Put three on there and only two stuck. Here we go. And then I need to straighten them out, straighten them out, straighten them out. Perfect. And I think that's it for the white. I'll move on. I call this like a sunrise symbol. That's another one that I have kept in Tupperware. So it's just really easy for me to grab it. Oh yeah, I noticed some of my uh, little diamond painting Tupperware was missing. I bought a few extra and just like, oh, where'd they go? I had them on the table. I went and one day was just like looking in the kitchen <laughs> and I don't know if my like kids put them in the fr fridge or if my husband did, but like some of them were in the fridge empty. So I think my kids were like playing kitchen with all my diamond painting stuff, which was cute. This is DMC. This is one that I have in a bag, so 3823. And let me show you what it looks like in the tray. It's actually a very, very light yellow. 
my gosh, there's good lighting today. I've told you before, I don't have that great of a light, um, lighting in my craft area, but this slight overcast is working in my favor. Hmm. Oh, I don't like when that happens. I'm gonna have to dig it out. But I do think this diamond dot, um, diamond dot wax is really, really good. Hmm. I got a little bit more packing done today. I got two bags of stuff out of the house to donate and a bag of just some trash, like old papers and wrappers. Like, you know, when you might keep something still in the wrapper and it's like, well, I don't really need this. Or I found some, um, like a, a little decorative basket that it looks like one of the kids was trying to stand on, put their foot through, and it's a wicker basket, so it was broke. And it's like, I gotta, gotta move on from this because at that point, if the baby gets this, the baby could take it off and it's sharp and dangerous. But I'm doing really good, trying to get as much out as I can. With our move from the United States to Tunisia, what happened is I was really productive in the first few weeks leading up to the move. And then I reached a point where I felt, I just felt overwhelmed. There was so much stuff left in the house, so much stuff left to do. And I just told my husband, I'm really, I walk into a room, I see all this stuff and I'm just overwhelmed, mostly with emotion of like, do I keep this stuff? Do I not? It's kids' toys, it's my stuff. Some have like, sentimental memories attached to it but I don't use it and he's like don't worry we'll take care of this he loads it all up in a box and it just it came here with us I did a really good job of getting rid of a lot of stuff we don't use but when we arrived I had things that I was just like okay we'll use this now but it's not going to come with us to our second post so we're going through and then baby items, like stuff that doesn't fit the kids anymore. You can take those and donate. All typical stuff that it's time, it's time to move on from. Getting rid of baby stuff is just sad because it just reminds me that my kids aren't babies anymore. But it's also really good when you realize that it's gonna be used by, used again by somebody who can really benefit and make good use of it. But yeah, packing, 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 packing. That's the main thing in my life right now. How many boxes did I pack today? How much stuff did I get away, give away today? Give anything to donate? Oh, I'm talking and I just realized this yellow that I just did, I haven't shown you today, but it's DMC 744. So it's one DMC off of what you saw earlier. And then the L you have seen today, that was 743. I'm gonna put these drills back, get the L out. And I think after this moon, maybe probably the end of the video, and we'll wrap up. The next one, like I said, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna be doing, if I wanna do Jasmine's hair, Jasmine's body. I like to save her face to last because I think it's really nice when you can see the face being done and then we zoom out and we see everything that we've completed. So the next one will be a mystery. I'll probably decide a few minutes beforehand what I'm gonna work on and we'll go from there. But today I will respond to everything. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Go ahead, ask it below, and I'll do better about responding next week, this week, whenever it gets up and good and you guys start watching and give me your feedback. I love this. I love this. Getting the canvas in a larger size, I was really intimidated by. Um, this was the only size that Amazon sold, and I knew, like, this is my third canvas. This is going to be a big one. And when I was organizing all my drills, I felt intimidated. But now that I'm working on it, I love that I went bigger. Because when I get to see all of the colors fade 
from lighter to dark or dark to light. It's um, it's really beautiful. Woo! Do you see that? Hey, come on, you don't belong there. Come on, you can go over here. And when when I'm looking at the canvas further away, it looks even better. It's a, it's a much nicer transition. I ha I don't have anywhere to really put the canvas at, so I could film and show you kind of a, a few steps away how it looks. But I will try and find it or find something to get that angle for you before I pack it up. That's gonna be so sad. Our pack up video when I show you packing packing up this canvas after all the time we worked on it together. DMC 742. We've already seen this one. This is K. But I think what I'm going to do for that video, I want to try and get this canvas done a few days before the 14th. That's my goal. The way it's going right now, it's going really fast with most of the outline. And I'm going to do the pack up video and I'm gonna put it up a few days before I leave. That way, if I did something wrong, or you experts are like, no, Meredith, don't do it that way, then I still have time to correct it. Because <laughs> um, we put so much time into this. This is like this beautiful piece that we're crafting on. We don't wanna have me mess it up by packing it the wrong way. And it's gonna be, goodness, April, that it gets packed up. And at this point, to be totally honest, if I saw this by August, I would be very, very happy. I have no idea what current shipping shipping times are, but this is the busiest time of everybody in, um, doing international moves. So I'm hoping, and you guys hear me say that a lot, hoping, trying to be positive. I'm hoping that it is there shortly after we arrive in July. And if not, I hope I don't have to wait more than a month. So we'll, we shall see. Oh, I'm not getting any. There we go. And here we go. Oh, come on, there you go. <laughs> here is our moon. I think it looks really good. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, that is the second time today I have done that. The first time was with black drills and that was not easy to clean up. At least this is a bright color that I can quickly do. It's, I make the mistake. I put the drill holder on the glue and then I go and try and pick it up and it gets stuck. Oh goodness. I mean, we all do this, it happens, but we don't want it to happen silly errors that we make come on hey and isn't this great we get to end the video with me picking up drills <laughs> but it won't be it won't take too long so I will start wrapping up thank you for watching crafters if you have any questions or comments put them down below I'm gonna do better about answering the next video should be up within a few days, maybe even sooner since I'm not working now officially this week and I've got some more downtime in between packing. I'm gonna take the camera off the stand. You'll hear a little noise. Oh, there we go. This is what I was talking about. When you look at it kind of further away, that's just a really beautiful transition. So we got the moon done, we got the palace done, and sometime over the next few days, We'll make more progress on this canvas. Thanks for watching crafters. I'll talk to you later. Bye.